Hello and welcome to Songlines, Leeds Leader's new collection of online resources encouraging you to explore the wonderful world of art song. Today we're going to be taking a look at the song To Wander by Franz Schubert. So strap on your hiking boots because we'll be heading off on a long walk. Hello everybody, I hope you're all really excited to take a deep dive into this joyful song with me today. My name is Phil and I'm from Leeds Lieder. Now, Lieder is a German word and it just means songs in English. When we talk about Lieder though, we're referring to a particular type of song and we call them art songs. Now, art songs are usually performed with just a singer and a pianist and just like it says on the tin, they paint a picture in our imaginations and tell a story. Our song today, To Wander, was originally written in German and called Das Wandern. Don't worry, we've translated the song into English for us to work on today. But let's just hear a little bit of the song in the original German. I wonder if you can pick up some of the words though, because German and English often sound really similar. Das Wandern ist des Müllers Lust, das Wandern. Das Wandern ist des Müllers Lust, das Wandern. Das muss ein schlechter Müller sein, dem niemals viel das Wandern ein. Das Wandern, das Wandern, das Wandern, das Wandern. Vom Wasser haben wir's gelernt, vom Wasser. Wasser haben wir's gelernt vom Wasser. Das hat nicht Ruhe bei Tag und Nacht, ist stets auf Wanderschaft bedacht. Das Wasser, das Wasser, das Wasser, das Wasser. Pretty wonderful, eh? I wonder what pictures came into your mind during that song. Now, the writer or composer of our song was a young man called Schubert. And Schubert was born in Vienna in Austria in 1797. That's about 220 years ago. He was kind of like the Ed Sheeran or the Dolly Parton of his day. His passion for writing songs was so great that people still rave about them. And there's no wonder. He wrote over 600 songs alongside orchestral symphonies, string quartets, choral works and piano sonatas. Now, Schubert wrote the music for our song, but he didn't write the words. The poet behind To Wander, or the original Das Wandern, was Wilhelm Müller, and he was known as one of the great romantic poets. Now, that's not to say that he only wrote about the lovey-dovey stuff, although he did write plenty of that. His poems were full of imagination and sentiment. He wrote a lot about nature and nostalgia looking back, and even the supernatural. Funnily enough, it seemed that he wasn't always confident in expressing his own emotions. So he wrote these wonderful poems, these sublime poems, to express his feelings. So, I said earlier that leader or art songs paint pictures and tell a story. I'm going to let you guys decide in your own imaginations what picture Schubert and Müller are painting. But the story they're telling through the words is that of a travelling miller. We don't know his name. You could give him one if you like. I like to think he's called Stefan. And our friend the miller in this story tells us how much he loves to go wandering, or going for a walk in the country, specifically along the river. He is a miller after all. Now, To Wander is actually the first song in a whole set of songs which tell a much bigger story. It's a bit like uh, one episode in a Netflix series or perhaps one film or book in the Lord of the Rings trilogy or uh, one of the Star Wars films or one of the Harry Potter books. When art songs are grouped together like this, they tell an epic story and it's called a song cycle. The longer story of this song cycle is that our miller friend, whilst out walking, comes across a mill by a river, and there lives a beautiful miller's daughter. It's all about mills. Anyway, our protagonist falls in love with the miller's daughter, but she doesn't love him back. It all gets a bit awkward when a hunter from a neighbouring village rocks up and, well, I won't spoil the ending for you. Speaking of characters, there's one that we haven't talked about yet. 
I wonder if when we've explored the song a little bit more, you'll be able to guess who or what the character really is. I'll give you a clue. It's always running alongside our Miller friend, just like our piano accompanist is accompanying our singer throughout the song. So there it is. That's enough of me waffling on about Austrians and Germans and poets and composers, singers and pianists, and millers and hunters and protagonists and song cycles. Let's get to some singing. Okay, guys, let's get you warmed up. Now, singing is a physical activity. It's a whole body activity. So I've got to stay seated because I'm going to play the piano for you in a bit. But if you can, find some space and stand up. Just give your arms a little swing. Make sure you're not going to hit anybody or anything around you. Great. Let's start with a lovely roll of the shoulders. Just roll your shoulders back. Nice deep rolls. Draw them right up to your ears and back down your back. Reverse the flow. Roll them forwards. Bring them up to your ears. See if you can roll one forwards and one back. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> And then reverse. Oh, yes. Oh, very good. Draw them right up to your ears. Take a lovely breath in. And release. Oh, very good. Let's just release the neck. So we'll roll our chin down onto our chest. Roll one ear up onto one shoulder. Feel that lovely stretch between here and here. Take a lovely breath in through the nose and release as you bring your chin back down onto your chest. Roll your chin back down. And follow through. Keep going up to the other shoulder. Again, a lovely breath in. Ah, and then roll your chin down onto your chest. Very nice indeed. While your chin's on your chest, give your shoulders just another little roll. And just gently bring your chin back up to normal height, facing forward. Really, really good. Okay, let's give our faces a massage. Just tap underneath the eyes. Tap the cheeks. Oh, not too hard. Rub around the sides of the eyes and tap on top of the eyes as well. Give the forehead a bit of a massage. Give the jaw a lovely massage as well. Oh, lovely, deep, tall, vertical mouth. Ah, oh, very nice. Stretch up to the ceiling, all the way up. Oh, you can't see my hands. Stretch all the way up, all the way down, all the way to the sides. Cross over. Oh, back up. One up, one down. And the reverse. Very good. All the way in front of you, right into the camera. Very good. And all the way behind you. Okay, show me happy face. Show me sad face. Hmm. Confused? Hmm. Huh? Show me wide face, thin face, tall face, short face, mm. diagonal face, surprised face, <gasps> worried face, <gasps> excited face, <sighs> and back to normal. Hmm. Okay, let's start thinking about the breath. Take a lovely breath in through the nose and release through the mouth. <sighs> One more time, make sure you're stood or seated nice and tall. Off you go, breath in. And release. <sighs> very, very nice. And repeat after me. I'm going to do counts of four. So I'll go. S -s 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 -s. Very good. Very good, guys. Okay, let's get the voice moving. Let's blow those cobwebs off. Imagine I plated up the most delicious meal you've ever seen in your life and put it in front of your faces and you go, mmm. Someone tries to steal it and you go, Vroom. and then someone brings it back and you go, Vroom. thanks. One more time. A low mmm, a bigger mmm, and a huge zzz. Off you go. And Brilliant. Now, singing is about expression and communication. What we have as singers over, say, pianists or violinists or guitarists or drummers is that we have words. We can use words when we sing and that enhances the meaning of what we're singing about and gives real detail and clarity. Now, the song that we're working on today is called To Wander. Now, that's not W-O-N-D-E-R, to think about, to muse, to philosophize, to pontificate. It's to wander, W-A-N-D-E-R, to walk around, to explore, to go on an adventure. And our main character, who we'll meet in a moment, is talking about how he loves to wander, how he loves to walk around, to walk by the river, to walk out in the countryside, or to walk down the road in the town. So, let's get that word working. To wander. Now say it with some meaning. Off you go. That was good. Let's just try a little bit more 
uh, expression about it. See if you can project it a bit more. Imagine yourself in a massive concert hall and you're saying to someone sat, who you care for, who sat right at the back of the concert hall, to wonder, off you go, to wonder, to wonder. To wonder. Now, in your imagination, put yourself in a different setting, in a forest, let's say. To wonder. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, now let's go to the town centre. To wander. Maybe you're just walking down the road. To wander. In the bath. <sighs> to wander. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get to some singing. So the tune for To Wander starts with the interval of a fourth. Let's just use that for a simple exercise on the vowel R. Ah, try that. Lovely. Now make sure that that, love, that R vowel is nice and tall and vertical, not wide. So, ah, not ah. Ready? One, two, and ah. Couple more with me. Ah. Lovely drop jaw. guys indeed another little tune out of our song is so we're just going to use that as a bit of a warm-up as well let's take it down a bit and we use the vowels ooh -ee -oo -ee -oo. so ooh -ee -oo -ee -oo. try that now depending on where your voice sits you might be aiming to match me ooh -ee -oo -ee -oo. or you might be aiming for ooh -ee -oo -ee -oo. I don't mind. Either way, that ooh vowel, purse those lips nice and forward there, give me a good bout. Very nice, and make sure that the tongue stays nice and high for the E vowel. Off you go, and. Good. One more with me. got up that high. Okay guys we're all warmed up and ready to do some singing. Now like I said in the introduction our song To Wander is actually the start of something bigger. It's the start of an epic tale or a longer story and just like in any great story the first thing you do is meet the main character. So our main character is a miller that's to say he works in a mill. Uh, not that kind of mill or that kind of mill. But that kind of mill, yeah. You don't tend to see them very much now because we've moved on a little bit. This kind of mill has sort of gone into the realms of being more like a museum at the moment. They're still around, but you have to look a little harder to find them. They're from a time when we had to use the natural resources to power our machinery. And in this case, it's using the river that's running next to the building. If you see, there's a massive wheel on the side of the building and that's being turned by the power of the river, the river flowing past it. And that energy is focused on the inside of the building to turn a huge millstone to grind up wheat into flour. I'm sure there's a better explanation if you just YouTube it. <laughs> anyway, we've got to meet our, mate, our main character, the miller. Now this guy's pretty happy. He likes to wander, he likes to meander, to think, but we know he's going on an epic journey. I've got a little song, just a short canon for you guys to learn, just to introduce our first character, the miller. The words are, there was a Johnny Miller, and he lived by himself. As the wheel went round, he made his wealth. With one hand in his pocket, and the other in his bag, as the wheel went round, he made his grab. All right, it's talking about how the Miller makes his earning. Here we go. I'll sing a line to you, sing it straight back to me. So the first words, I'll put them on the screen for you to follow through. Here we go. There was a Johnny Miller, and he lived by himself. Try that, off you go. There was a jolly miller and he lived by himself. Great. Next line. As the wheel went round, he made his wealth. Your turn. As the wheel went round, he made his wealth. Brilliant. Let's try those two lines together. Ready? There was a jolly miller and he lived by himself. As the wheel went round, he made his wealth. Great. 
Next two lines, this is talking about putting his hand in his pocket and then going for the grab. With one hand in his pocket and the other in his bag. Off you go. With one hand in his pocket and the other in his bag. Great. As the wheel went round, he made his grab. Off you go. As the wheel went round, he made his grab. Excellent. Let's just do those two lines together. Ready? With one hand in his pocket. Off we go. With one hand in his pocket and the other in his bag. As the wheel went round, he made his grab. Brilliant. Do you remember the first line? There was a jolly miller. Don't forget that we're talking about expression and meaning when we sing. He's a jolly miller. He's not a sad miller or a confused miller or a worried miller. He's a jolly old chap. There was a jolly miller and he lived by himself. As the wheel went round, he made his wealth. With one hand in his pocket and the other in his bag. As the wheel went round, he made his grab. Have you got it? Great. Now it's time to perform. On the next screen you'll see me past version of me, something I prepared earlier. I will sing the song once more all the way through just to make sure you've really got it and then I'm going to split into two. It's magic. And you can pick one of me, part one or part two, and we'll sing it in a two-part canon. Just watch for when we come in. And then, with more magic, I split into four parts. Again, each one with a different coloured t-shirt. Pick one, two, three or four. Whichever one you like. Don't forget to keep your singing expressive, stand nice and tall, take good deep breath before you sing and enjoy. There was a jolly miller and he lived by himself As the wheel went round he made his wealth With one hand in his pocket and the other in his bag As the wheel went round he made his grab There was a jolly miller and he lived by himself As the wheel went round he made his wealth With one hand when his pocket he made his wealth With one hand when his pocket and the other in his grab As the wheel went round he made his grab As the wheel went round he made his grab he made his wealth as the one hand went round. He made his wealth as the one hand went round. He made his grab as the wheel went round. He made his grab as the wheel went round. He made his grab. As the was by himself, as the was by himself, as the one by himself, as the one in his ground, 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 he made his ground. Welcome back! Hope you enjoyed the Jolly Miller. Okay, let's get into our song To Wander by Schubert. Earlier on I said that there was a third character, not the singing character, not the Miller that we've met, and not the person that he's looking for, the Miller maid. But there's a third character, it's a non-human character. I'm going to play the introduction, see what you can see in your mind's eye. Maybe you could shut your eyes and have a listen. Now, knowing what kind of mill that we're talking about, in your setting, in that setting of the mill by the river, what's this character? That's right, it's the river. And the river's constantly flowing throughout this song cycle, being a companion and a confidant to, the, to our protagonist, the miller. Okay, look, that's the introduction to the song, the start of the song. Can you, do, uh, can you clap along this time while I play? Ready? Let's just do that one more time. Ready? <laughs> That's right. So there, we found our pulse or our beat. That steady heartbeat that just goes throughout the song. That's our pulse. Uh, can you do the same thing this time? I'll, I'll really play this time. I won't trick you. Can you count along as well? I'll start counting with you. Ready? Here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So we're counting up to two and then starting back at the beginning again. 
So we can say that we're in a time signature of two, four. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now, what about the key? What is the key? What is a key? What's a key? A key is not the melody of a song. It's the background, it's the bedding, it's the feeling. It's not the bit that we sing when we're thinking about a song, the tune, the memorable tune. It's everything around that. And we can either say that a tune is in a major key or a minor key. Now, some people simplify that and say that major feels happy and content and jolly, and minor feels sad and melancholic and unsure. It's not always the case, but you can, it works sometimes. I'll play the introduction one more time. Can you tell me if it's in a major or a minor key? Yeah, it's pretty happy, isn't it? It's in a major key. I'll, I'll play it for you in a minor key just for a bit of fun. Sounds a bit like... <laughs> so, we're actually in a major key. Yeah. It sounds very different in the minor, doesn't it? Okie dokie. So, we know we're in a pulse. We've got our lovely pulse. We've got a 2-4 time signature. That's two beats, two crotchet beats in a bar. And that we're working in, in a major key, in this case in G major. Okie dokie. Let's start learning this tune, shall we? Here's the first line. So the words are, to wander is the miller's joy, to wander. Don't forget what we talked about expression in the warm-up. I'll sing to you, sing back to me. To wander is the miller's joy, to wander. Off you go. To wander is the miller's joy, to wander. Very good. Now the next line is actually the same as the first one. I'll do it one more time. To wander is the miller's joy, to wander. talk about major and minor. I think I actually played some minor chords by accident there. Well done guys. So the first two lines are actually the same. So whenever we've got something that's the same in music, I implore you, don't just karaoke the same line again. Do something different with it. Make it feel different. Do something different with the dynamics. That's the louds and the softs. You might want to sing the first one loud and the second one soft. Let's just try that. Ready? Oh. To wonder is the miller's joy. To wonder. Now soft. That's a nice difference already, isn't it? You could do something different with expression. I mean, it makes no sense, but we could sing the first one as if he's really sad, and the first one as if he's really excited. Or the second one as if he's really excited. Let's just try that. Sad to excited. Ready? To wonder is the miller's joy to wonder. To wonder is the miller's joy to wonder. Yeah, I mean, that might be a little silly, but hey, you can play around with it. Try it. Okay, the next lines. How wretched would a miller be who never thought to wander free? Try those lines. I'll tell you what, I'll sing the first bit first. How wretched would a miller be? Off you go. How wretched would a miller be? Now, wretched, that's a great word. We don't hear that word very much. Wretched is to be abhorrent, horrible. How wretched would a miller be? Off you go. How wretched would a miller be? And then we brighten the mood. Who never thought to wander free? Off you go. Who never thought to wander free? Great, let's put those two lines together. How wretched would a miller be? Can you say you're wretched with a rolled R? Off you go. Wretched. Excellent. And then who never thought to wander free? Say free for me. Free! That's brilliant. How wretched? One, two, three. How wretched would a miller be? Who never thought to wander free? That's great. And we've got two lines to finish off. And again, just like the first two lines, they're actually the same. They're repetitive. They go... To wander, to wander, to wander, to wander. So it's just the same line twice, isn't it? Here we go. To wander, to wander, to wander, to wander. So like I said earlier on, if you've got two lines that are the same, do something different on the second one. All right, do you think you've got it? I tell you what, let's just go from the middle of that verse, because there's lots of notes to get in, isn't there? And the, uh, the, the rhythm is a little trickier. It's a bit quicker. Let's just try that. Uh, I'll slow it down for you. How wretched would a miller be who never thought to wander free? 
with me, off you go. A wretched would a miller be, who never thought to wander free. Great. And then we've got a big interval, a seventh. To wander, to wander, to wander, to wander. Can you give me that line and give me a big gesture on the word wander? Throw your arm into the air. To wander, to wander. Off you go. To wander, to wander, to wander, to wander. Brilliant, guys. Okay, I'm going to play the introduction and then let's sing the first verse. I'll put the words up on the screen for you. Ready, steady, off we go. To wander is the... To wander is the... Great guys, well done. That's our first verse. Okay, now this is a strophic song. That means that each verse has the same music, but with slightly different words to it. So as we go through this, our first song of our whole song cycle, we're meeting all the characters of it, and they're not all human characters. Let's go to the second, uh, second verse, which introduces our river, the water. The water taught us the issue, you see, the water. The water taught us the issue, you see, the water. Can you try those two lines? Off you go. The water taught us the issue, you see, the water. The water taught us the issue, you see, the water. Good. It knows no rest by night and day, goes wandering on its joyful way. We've got some great words in there again. It knows no rest by night and day. The difference between night and day, day and night. Just give me those two words. Night and day goes wandering on its joyful way. Give me joyful way. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's put those two lines together then. It knows no rest by night and day. Try that. It knows no rest by night and day. Goes wandering on its joyful way. Off you go. Goes wandering on its joyful way. Brilliant. Let's try and put those two together. It knows. One, two, go. It knows no rest by night and day. Goes Very good. And our final line. The water, the water, the water, the water. Again, two of the same, so make them different. Off you go, your turn. The water, the water, the water, the water. Just make sure with this one that you're not going the water, the water. You might feel like you want to do that, but make sure that the stress is on water, water. One more time. Off you go. The water, the water, water, the water. Good. Nice. Let's just jump straight into verse three. Off you go. I've learned this from the turning wheel, the mill wheel. I've learned this from the turning wheel, the mill wheel. It's never standing still at all, we always see it rise and fall, the mill wheel, the mill wheel, the mill wheel, the mill wheel. I find those words really hard to say. Mill wheel. Say that. Mill wheel. So it's not meal wheel, it's mill wheel. It's a bit of a tongue twister. I reckon you can sight read verse four without me even going through it with you. The heavy millstone rolls around. Now let's not forget about communication. This is talking about a heavy millstone. Now because the song's strophic, we cannot change the melody and the harmony. It's just the same music, but we can make it feel different to the other verses. This is a heavy verse. Ready? I'll play the introduction for you. Heavy millstone, off you go, you're on your own. Good. Great guys, very good. Here we go, let's just have a little look at verse 5 then, our final verse before we perform the whole song. Yes, 
it's a bit like a sort of it's a gathering everything up together, almost like a return to verse one. Yes, one dream, one dream is my joy, just one dream. Your turn. Yes, one dream, one dream is my joy, just one dream. Now, there's a funny thing with this verse, the important word of joy, wandering is my joy, is right at the bottom of the tune, isn't it? It's at the bottom of your range. So make sure that you give some special quality that. It is my joy. Just try those. It is my joy. Very good. Let's just try it from the, the top of verse five. Ready? Off we go. Yes, one dream, one dream is my joy. Just one dream. And again. Yes, one dream, one dream is my joy. Just one dream. Excellent. Oh, master and oh, mistress, see a miller needs to wander free. And then we finish to wander, to wander, to wander, to wander. <laughs> oh, master and a mistress, see a miller needs to wander free. Just declaim those lines for me, off you go. Oh, master and a mistress, see a miller needs to wander free. Well done, guys. And then we finish to wander, to wander. Just like the first verse, isn't it? Okay, well, let's go from Oh Master and Oh Mistress C. Off we go. Oh Master and Oh Mistress C. A miller needs to wander free. I'll just stop you there because I made a mistake. I'm getting very excited and I forgot to breathe properly before we sing. Whenever you breathe for singing, it's not a case of breathing it in like a big balloon and holding it and making lots of pressure and tension. Singing for me should feel like a lovely long tall stretch, almost like you're doing a lovely tall yoga pose. Not like you're filling up a balloon and making it full of tension. So whenever you breathe for singing, just breathe naturally, but think of the phrase you're about to sing. We've got to sing, oh master and oh mistress, see a miller needs to wander free. Just think about that before you sing and it'll be fine. Ready? Off we go. Oh master and oh mistress, see a miller needs to wander free. To wander, to wander, to wander, to wander. Excellent. And there we are. The music's not finished until the very last note stops sounding and then a few seconds after that. So we'll hear the outro. And then we relax and we know that's the end of the song. Okay guys, you've done really well to learn this song so quickly. Let's perform it. Stand up, get some space, get an audience into your room and let's perform Schubert's To Wander. Wonder is the miller's joy to wander. To wander is the miller's joy to wander. How wretched would a miller be who never thought to wander free? To wander, to wander, to wander, to wander. The water taught us this, you see, the water. The water taught us this, you see, the water. It knows no rest by night and day, goes wandering on its joyful way. The water, the water, the water, the water. I've learned this from the turning wheel, the mill wheel. I've learned this from the turning wheel, the mill wheel. It's never standing still at all, we always see it rise and fall. The mill wheel, the mill wheel, the mill wheel, the mill wheel. The heavy millstone rolls around the millstone. The heavy millstone rolls around the millstone. It rolls around so joyfully, but longs to go a wandering free. The millstone, the millstone, the millstone, the millstone. Yes, wandering, wandering is my joy, just wandering. Yes, wandering, wandering is my joy, just wandering. 
Oh, master and oh, mistress, see a miller needs to wander free, to wander, to wander, to wander, to wander. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed learning Schubert's To Wander with me today and exploring it in detail. Most of the performances you'll find by searching online will be in the original German. So search for Das Wanden or the title of the full song cycle, Die Schöne Müllerin, The Beautiful Miller Maid. Enjoy listening to all the different performances you can find. You can also download the Leeds Leader recording of the song in our English translation, along with all of our other learning resources by going to our website, www.leedsleader.org.uk forward slash learning. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. Keep an eye on our YouTube channel, keep an eye on our website, as our collection of materials is constantly growing. Have fun and happy singing.